Hi guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. Today's Friday, March 27th, 2020. Okay, so I'm here to say that bingo, 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 lingo, lingo, somebody got all the guesses right of my hashtag 2020 stash flash. Whoa! Read through the comments, guys. Guess who got them all right? Sorry, I don't have a prize for you, but you are the winner. <laughs> okay, K Dallas. K Dallas, guys. Whoop, 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 whoop. K Dallas got them all right. Okay. What did she say? She said that the top left was. Okay, so I don't. These aren't. Anyway, she said. Teal, black, and gray is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in, in, let me show these off again, guys. Okay. In AG and Stripes. And she knows this because she made a hat and scarf set out of it for her daughter's 16th birthday 10 years ago. Holy cow, great memory. 10 years ago. I can't remember yesterday, let alone 10 years ago. So kudos to you for remembering. Anyway, let's see if she's right, guys. One, yes, it is. I love this yarn. <laughs> I love this yarn by Hobby Lobby. And did she get the color right, guys? AG and Stripe. Da -da -da -da. I don't know if it's showing. My cameraman's walking around wandering. So, yes, sirree, Bob. There you go. And I had two of these. Okay, what was her next, her next answer? Then she said the second row right is Bernay Pipsqueak in the color Dance Party. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Bernay Pipsqueak in the color way. Dance Party. She said, Premier Coffee Shop in True Blue. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Premier Coffee Shop in the color. Ba -ba -ba -ba. True Blue. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Three for three. Woohoo! Okay, and then she said, Bottom row is Red Heart Unforgettable Wave in the color Riverbank. Red Heart Unforgettable Waves. And the colorway is ba -ba -ba -ba, Riverbank. Da -da -da -da. And I have, whoops, 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 I have three of these. Excelente! K Dallas! Whoop, 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 can I get a whoop, whoop for K Dallas? You are, you got them all correct. That's what I had. So I had three of these. I had two of these. You didn't see how many I had because they were on top of each other. And that wasn't part of the question either. But, bop, 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 bop. yay, hooray, Jiffy Pop Popcorn! You got them all right, baby. Have a great weekend. Yay, you got them all right. Woo, woo. And lots of other answers were like really good, really good. A lot of people thought maybe that everybody got, mo a lot of people got the pip squeak. And thanks everybody for all your suggestions on what to make with things. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah, lots of great. Thanks everybody for playing the game. So if you want to get involved and do your hashtag 2020 stash flash, this all started by our Petra at Petra's Happy Place. Go check out her video. I'll put her link below. She tells you all about it and how you get involved. Stash your flash, guys. Stash flash. Flash your stash. Stash flash.
trash. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm not going to get it. Well, I will get it into the coronavirus here, guys. Yeah. It's hitting the city of Corthy Lakes hard. We have, as of, um, as of like the 25th, there was 25 reported reported cases. Um, a long-term care home just down the road a ways. They had like 30 suspected cases. Um, three of the, this is like a few, like a few days ago, so they're still waiting test results. Um, three of the people that live there, yes, they tested positive. Two of them passed away. Um, the last I saw a few days ago was that there were 11 employees that tested positive there. Yeah, this is really hitting really close, 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 like close. This is all like City Court Lake had, what did I say? I think there was on the, on the health, on the health the unit, some website, there was like 25 and that was like four days ago, five days ago. Yeah, so it's really close. It, it, it's home. It's, it's here. It's happening. Um, I've heard so many people tell me stories about so-and-so showed up for work. They had it. They were sent home. Yeah, this is a lot of people I know. This is really, this is truly affecting a lot of people I know. I am ter terrified. I don't want to go out. I have, we haven't been out in how long? And we don't want to go out. It's been a week. Yeah, a week or more. I think we went We've out. We've been out twice in two weeks. Yeah, we did a, like a quick dash and grab and dash. And so here, um, like all, the, you know, like everywhere, everything's closed. Um, you can get takeout. And now the Ontario government, um, because all the bars and restaurants and pubs are closed unless you have takeout delivery um, pickup window. So now they've just, I saw the government of Ontario is saying that... Um, Restaurants in Ontario can now offer liquor as part of takeout orders. <laughs> People in the United States probably get that all the time, but up here in Canada, you have to buy your, your alcohol at a LCBO, a Liquor Control Board of Ontario place, or the beer store. Now, there are some, gradually there are getting, there were getting, like some convenience stores are allowed to sell them. But anyway... Um, yeah, and, uh, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, and so, you know, when you go grocery shopping, please respect the people that work there. I'm sorry, but I would not want to be working in a, re I would not want to be working in the stores that these poor people have, cashiers have to deal with people. Sorry, but there should, like, stay away, stay away. We have grocery stores now that, um, well, they have been for a while now. You, they are only allowing so many people in the store. You have to you have to line up. You get your shopping cart. You clean it. You wipe it all down. Then you're allowed to go in. You get your your groceries. Um, then upon and then you have to they, they've got the all marked out in the floor where you're supposed to stand. Um, they have uh, you can go down this aisle one way, this aisle one way. Um, and you're supposed to keep your distance down the aisles and you have to follow the lines on the floor that, that and then it'll say, do not enter one way only so that they don't have people in close contact. Um, a lot of them have placed the, um, you know, the glass paneling between you and the uh, cashier. Um, a lot of them do not, they will accept it, but they don't want to uh, <clears throat> cash. Um, and what else? Oh yeah. So then, then you're not allowed to bring in your own grocery bags. Um, you have to, you, you know, use their bags. And then when you leave, you have to wipe down your cart. You have to walk, um, you know, do your hands with the, and don't re like, remember guys, you got to do all this stuff too. I mean, it's just not a matter of going like this. It, it's a, you got to really get in there and groove along like. You know, really do it. Don't just go, ooh, 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 I'm done. Um, and then they, um, they give you the, um, the stuff to um, wipe down your cart. And then, then you leave. Um, a lot of stores have, um, you know, you, you, you place your order online. You go and you pick it up. 
Um, what else? Um, yes. Uh, just the essential essential places are open now. Um, what else? Yeah, but it's it's scary. I do not. I don't. I don't. I don't want to leave my house. I mean, I called in to work last like two weeks ago and I said, "Take me off the schedule for the week." I'm supposed to go back to work on April first. I don't want to. I'm 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 like freaking terrified. I do not want to leave my house. I really don't. I, I'm sorry, I don't. Call me paranoid. Call me what you will. I don't care. But please respect your cashiers and your people that work. They are not the one. They they can't help it. They show up to work. They're making a living. They are. They are vulnerable. Like let's please take care of them. Don't don't take it out. Don't take your anger and frustration out on these cashiers. They're doing what they're told. Like that's it. Um, yeah, I think I I wouldn't want to be a cashier. I would not want to be a cashier. You got people coughing and spitting and whatever. And oh my God, the stuff I'm hearing that, um, oh, I watched this one video. What an idiot. It, it was taken off the internet. Some, uh, some guy went through the drive-thru at, T at Tim Hortons in, uh, I think it was Brampton, Ontario. What a goof. Um, so he, he's at the, he's at the window, right? And the girl hand, hand puts a coffee on the counter what does he do? Oh, he's trying to be like cool or, or whatever. He, he's, he's in his car. And so he, he, he takes out a, a pumpy spray thing. What was it anyway? A, a pumpy spray thing. And he's like spraying and spraying in the window. So she's right there and he's spraying this thing, the, his coffee cup, you know? And then, then he takes the coffee pops the lid off of it and hurls it back at her and he goes oh no offense what does he say um nothing against you but somebody in some Tim Hortons has it nothing against you and then the guy behind him is beeping he's like f off and oh I, I, I just I just ooh, people like this I'm telling you I just want to smack them like first of all why don't you make your coffee at home? Why the hell are you getting, what do you, ooh, I think he just, oh, you know these, oh, you know these idiots that, like, oh, what am I trying to say? You know the idiots that just want to be, they look at me or what, oh, mentality. And what was the other thing? Oh, <clears throat> I guess some other guy he's charged, um, he, uh, he horked it. He horked like a couple times at a, I don't know, was it McDonald's employee? What was, who was it? I don't know. I forget. I forget some, some, you know, he is horking on them like two or three times. Anyway, they found him and he's charged. So this is like, this is serious and don't be an idiot. I know, I know everybody that watches my, that watches me isn't an idiot. I know, but I'm just telling you that. The freak, and these are, these are true stories, okay? Like, these are, you know, you see on Facebook all these fake, fake, fake stories. These ones are true and real and happening. And just, uh. oh, and um, I had seen, actually, you know what? Take a Q-tip. You know when you use the debit machines? Take a Q-tip and punch your, punch your numbers. I thought that was a good idea. Take a Q-tip and punch your numbers. I saw that a while ago. You know, this is, this is, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know about you, but I'm terrified. Really, really am. Because, I mean, it lives on. It lives on, you know, cardboard for how many days. It lives on steel surfaces for how many days. It lives, you know, on, you know, it, it, it lives. And, uh, yeah, what you have to do to get tested for this, have you guys seen what you have to do? It's not a pretty thing. I mean, they take a swab and they drill it way back here. And swab you way back here somewhere. Oh, scary. So anyway, I'm just saying, you know, please, please be kind to anybody that you cut that that you have to. That you, if you go grocery shopping, if you whatever. Do you know what these people are taking? Seriously, I think taking their. What am I trying to say? Putting their life. They're putting their lives at risk. I'm sorry, they are. Like, there's a lot of people that. And do you know how many people are not saying, oh, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. And now um, Trudeau has um, 
Because people were saying, what are you going to do about it? All these people coming back from, you know, all the snowbirds coming back from Florida, they're not, they're not stopping. I mean, they're not going straight home. They're not going straight home and doing the 14-day stay away from the world thing. They are coming home. They're stopping. They're grocery shopping. They're doing this. They're doing that. Parking behind malls. They are. They, yeah. They were. They were in, in uh, in Walmart park parking lots. In and, the campers. In the campers. And this this news guy even was like saying, uh, "What are you doing? You should not be going in." And the lady goes, "Oh, we don't have anything." It's you know what? Send your send somebody to go get you something. <clears throat> Send a neighbor, send a whatever, phone a friend, do something. Do not go out. You are supposed to. So now Trudeau has, um, you're going to be fined. You're going to face fines and jail time if you're caught doing this. So don't do it. It's very bad. Very, very bad. I'm so, so yeah, go home and stay there. Just do it. Just like. Just do it, like oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm done. But anyway, yeah, our little little community here, we're flooded with people, and I just keep hearing more stories, more stories that, oh, so and so, and you, you know, so and so just came back from Jamaica, and they're out shopping. So and so is just my boss. Somebody, my boss showed up, has been showing up at work for three days, and he hasn't. What? Yeah, like. <sighs> You don't, people, the, the, people don't realize, you don't know you have it until you've spread it to how many people because you don't so, show signs and symptoms. So you could have it. Just remember that you could have it or if that person could have it. They're just not showing any signs yet. So please be kind. Please be kind. And yes, you're only supposed to take two things off the shelf. And yes, you're only... You know what? Deal with it. Okay? Just deal with it. This is this is a pandemic. Stop it. Be nice. Stay home. Bye. <laughs> On a happier night. No. Yay, K. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Love y'all. Take care. Be safe.